Um, all right, coffee hobbyist. Hey, Bill, I got really into coffee during the first months of the pandemic. I mean, really into it. I spent over $400 on equipment. Oh, my God. Electric grinder, Shemex, Shemex, temperature-controlled gooseneck kettle, AeroPress, French press. I haven't bought an espresso, espresso machine yet. Dude, those things are like, you can buy a fucking engine for your car for the amount of money those things are. They're like two or three grand. I haven't bought an espresso machine yet to get into milk drinks yet, though. Um, once you learn more about coffee, you discover that it's very similar to other hobbies like craft beer. It's interesting, fun, and enjoyable. Yeah, and also highly addictive. Uh, the ritual of making a good pour over in the morning is cathartic and like meditation. I mean, I can't argue with that. I mean, I got to be honest with you. Sitting down with a cigar, you know, when you have your right drink, you know, the proper ashtray, the right group of people, you know, what kind of, you know, there's people actually know whether you go straight cut or a V cut on different styles or whatever, how you light the thing. I love a ritual. That's making me want to have a nice cup of coffee right now. Um, anyway, grinding the beans, boiling the water. It's a peaceful process. Um, you should take up a career in writing about coffee because I got relaxed just reading that. Uh, ever since then, I only grind and buy fresh roasted beans from the local roasters in my city and state to support small businesses. Jesus Christ, is this who did Santa Claus write this? This is incredible. I also don't go to Starbucks anymore. Dude, fuck Starbucks. Starbucks couldn't make a fucking espresso if their goddamn life depended on it. Their goddamn burnt beans. That is the McDonald's. They're probably owned by McDonald's. That's the McDonald's of fucking coffee. Fuck Starbucks. Um, I only go to smaller uh, local coffee shops and maybe smaller lo small local chains. You should explore more about coffee outside of a cappuccino. You might really enjoy it. Thanks, and go love yourself. Look at this person. Just this person here has figured out life. Um, why don't you help me out? I just love a cappuccino so much. Um, I've never tried anything else, no Americano or whatever. I've never done that. I like an espresso or a cappuccino. Um, I'm sort of parked there until I get sick of it. You know, I, I did find a... Uh, I was in a part of Ho uh, Hollywood I'm never in, and I found this this um, coffee shop that was um, it was made from an old gas station, um, and they made a great espresso and cappuccino. Um, I don't know, dude. Do I really do I really need another thing to get into? You know. Because then I'm going to go out and then I'm going to have to buy this stupid espresso machine and then I'm going to buy the beans and I'm going to do all of that. You know what? I actually, I looked into it and what I actually thought was, you know what? I'm going to let somebody else who figured this out make this shit for me and I'll give them my money. Um, having said that, I learned how to make a French omelet this week, which is, um, not saying I do it well, but I, I actually finally understand the ins and outs of it. And uh, I made three of them this week. I'm getting a little sick of eating omelets, but practice makes perfect. Um, all right, morning intake. Let me get a drink here. Jesus Christ, Ray is just pulling away here. Kansas City covering. Look at this. I could possibly, if the fucking goddamn Chargers, I could go two and two. I could go one and three. I could go three and one. If somehow somebody gets hurt on the Raiders and they stop playing, Max Crosby. That guy looks like a fucking lunatic. If I just saw that, I wouldn't. If I just saw what they just showed me of him, I would not have bet on the ch uh, charges this week. All right, here we go. You know what? I was going to say maybe the Raiders go into the prevent and I could get the fucking backdoor cover, but they got a 14 point lead here. I need the goddamn Chargers to go down and score a touchdown right now, and then the Raiders to start playing more conservatively which they shouldn't do, but they probably will. 